Can you get off while we go? Um, just, just put it away for now. You can I can, use it later. I can watch my game and, and do this at the same time. Ryan, they're literally looking at you going like this. Y'all, I got him an early Valentine's gift, and this is that there's just no conversation. He's just in his own world. Can you just put him off for a little bit? Then tell me why. I could go right over to my photos and now I have all of the pictures ready to go. Why did you move in a, another apartment and are you guys really taking a break, right? And now I got the game going right now. These are the x Air 2 glasses and Ryan's been obsessed with them. Yeah. These things are different. The quality of these things, these are the best AR glasses out of any brand. The quality is 1080. It looks amazing. Like you have a 130 inch TV right here. Why would I take them off? The Merc fan looking at me, they watching me, and I'm gonna talk to them. I got my TV right here. I can have my little setup on, on this side, on the left side. Okay, well, ladies. And I literally just have it plugged right up to my phone. Ladies, you know, sometimes you get sick and tired of your man, right? So if you want him to stop annoying you, this is a good way. <laughs> They're actually really comfortable. Like when you put them on, you don't even feel like anything there. You might be able to hear a little bit of this sound. sound you can't even so hear the sound, right? Yeah, I can. I can hear like a little bit, but the I sound can't, is like, right is like thing. sending it straight down right here. It this they have the sound, the speakers. Oh shoot! What? Oh, Ryan, oh, my God. God. I'm multitasking right now. There's a button on the side right here that you can click and you can actually dim the whole outside of the screen. x is also the only company that has actual advanced computer technology built in it. These are actually fire because I could be in the club with these on, minding my own damn business, blacked out shades, but I really got 130 no, I like screen that idea, in front I like that idea. Think about that. Yeah. You can use them to play video games if you have the adapter. And then on top of it, it hooks straight up to your phone. It's like, I wish I could show y'all. It's like when I take them off though, it pauses it. When I take them off, it pauses it. And then, I, and then it comes back on whenever I put it back on. They're actually really cool. So ladies, if you're looking for a cool gift for your man for Valentine's Day, these are honestly This changes, this, this actually changes the game for playing video games and watching sports. For your mans, I just really love how the sound is literally right by your ear. Yeah. And it's loud by your ear, but it's not like overplaying anything. The screen is 130 inches. I wish I could put it up to the camera and show y'all, but like it shuts off every time I do. The little nose piece to it is like, they have like three different pieces and it fits your nose and I got a big ass nose. I had to get a different one to be able to fit it. All right, we're going in the half. We're going in the half. Yeah, because they're asking some questions too, so. Yeah, I know. I could literally, I could literally have them on and have the questions pulled up right in front of me. What is going on, Murphy? Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button, tell me to post some kiss, and join the family. <laughs> uh, so, we're bringing you guys an update on our life. We want to be able to just talk with you guys and sit down. You guys always ask us to do a podcast or you guys always just be asking us questions. We want to bring you guys something like that though. Mm -hmm. Maybe like every now and then just kind of giving you guys like an update because I feel like so much happens in our life. I feel like people can take something from it or even learn from us through our experience. Shit, sometimes we just got some good ass stories to tell. Yeah, bro. We're in a new home. Technically, we're in a new see. home. Yeah, we Probably just- looks a little bit different, but maybe a little bit the same too. <laughs> We just moved quick. We posted on our second channel, The Mert Family. If you guys want to follow that, we posted a whole week in our life vlog. We had the end of our lease in our other apartment coming up. It was about to end. We didn't want to re-sign in that lease because they upped the price a lot of money. We didn't want to pay that because like we're in the house process of buying a home. Like we don't want to be paying all this money in rent. That's like money that's not even going back in our pockets. When you buy a home, that money goes back in your pocket. It's like, we don't want to be spending all this money on rent when we're trying to buy a home. And we still have like another year basically until actually being in a new house is a thing because obviously the building process and all that is yeah like so we're looking for new construction it's yeah. going to take like six to 12 months to 
build a home. Yeah. No matter what, we were we already knew we were gonna have to sign another year lease. So we were like, let's you know, let's just go to a different apartment and that's cheaper, not what you're trying to charge us here for this right. one, and it'll all be good. So. so basically, we went from a three bedroom to a two bedroom, and I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little overwhelming trying to get everything in order and like situated and organized, just because yeah. obviously you have more stuff when you're in a bigger place, and then when you go down to a two bedroom, you have all the stuff. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna end up doing a tour of this place on our second channel, so you guys, the Merck family, go follow that. Even our Snapchats, go follow that because we'll be posting like here and there because like Montana's back in the bathroom now doing her makeup in the in the half bath. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's it's to sum and equal up to the bigger goal and that's buying a home. So you know if you have to go down a little bit, it's okay. Like it's there's nothing wrong with that. And yeah. The people that there's there's no stigma of shit. This is yeah. your life, you live your life and how you want to live it and mm -hmm. and that's it. This is what yeah. we are doing. Period. <laughs> But, new home. Technically, for the next year, or until the house is built, we don't have a specific update. That's the first question, is house update. And there isn't a house update yet. We're, we're in the process on a few homes, trying to figure out approval process Processing. on the house, and, and- And like pricing, and just basically like how it all works. Upgrades that we wanna do on the home, exactly. what we wanna add, what we wanna take out. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. There hasn't been nothing set in stone, so we don't want to put that out there and, and then something like falls yeah. through, like we don't want that. If we weren't doing YouTube, what did you want to like pursue? I would be pursuing what actually I'm already pursuing outside of doing social media, which is owning businesses. Owning franchise, um, owning real estate. I want to own rental properties, things like that. What about you? A detective. <laughs> I swear, I, I- We actually did just have a conversation about this too. I swear I would be the best detective because I have a really big heart and I would get to the bottom of everything and like that just whole like pinpointing everything. But obviously YouTube, since I was literally 10 years old and now I'm living my dream job. So I'm forever grateful. That was like the most yeah, random- Yeah, little detective. I would purposely do something bad. I saw you on the force. You're bad. You're, you're <laughs> the bad guy. Next question is family drama. Um, I feel like this question always comes up when we do things. It's not even to drag it on. Like y'all genuinely ask all the time. Yeah. Like I saw multiple questions with this. Will you ever talk to your parents again was one of them. Have you talked to your dad? You you actually answer first. Um, well, I actually haven't. Who? I don't want to get emotional. I actually haven't like talked about it or thought about it in, in a while just because like we've been busy. Somehow my new number to like him. So he's been trying to like reach out to me. And obviously like whenever I see that, I have a lot of di different emotions. You know, the, the way that some of the way that I feel, I don't want to put public because I know that they and a lot of other family members watch our videos. Things have gotten really messy behind the scenes very unacceptable to the point where it's like hard to find anything good or right to say to them i feel like my silence towards them is saying enough for the time being you know i might i may feel different and want to feel closure of some sort but it's hard to feel like any type of relationship can be there because not just that situation but other things have happened that has been very disrespectful and again has just lines have been crossed and for it to continue, it, it's one thing to happen once, but for it to continue to happen for multiple different things, it's hard to feel like they feel bad. They don't, they don't feel bad. And I'm not even trying to like go on about that, but, but there's been no conversations there. And I just don't know when I would be ready to have a conversation or what would be said or what closure for me looks like because I'm not at peace with the situation and like I don't have closure either. It's just, 
yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That was good. That was good. <laughs> so I will say that just to like get a little bit personal with you guys, that it's hard to not have like a single parent present in your life. Like I feel like a lot of the time we all have like a parent to lean on or like to guide us or to talk to, but like I really don't have that. And I think that's one thing that I struggle with the most being. I think it's hard too, because with what you also are dealing with in your life, with your health is like a parent would be very yeah. helpful and useful and needed in a time like this and you don't have it you only have me right so that's like what i struggle with the most but good job good job <laughs> thanks i kissed it thank you yeah. i kissed it you kiss right now? Uh, yeah <laughs> what <laughs> i didn't get it <laughs> i was talking about the the tumor. Oh. <laughs> you kiss it. <laughs> you shrunk. <laughs> so your take? Oh, you want me to go there? <laughs> what? You you said I go first and then you're supposed to go after I me. I didn't know you want me to go there. Um, what do you mean go there? I feel like I, I was very... Oh, I mean, do you want, like, do you want to, like, tell them how you feel? I don't know. <laughs> All I can say for myself is... Something to kind of give to you guys, even if an apology, because I feel like this is how a lot of people are kind of seeing it. Oh, what if they apologized or what if, whatever. Even if there was an apology made at this point, it doesn't mean nothing. Because the thing is, is you were lied. Imagine being lied to for four years. Imagine being lied to before, years before you even found out. Even if there was an apology made back then, before how we found out, we found out, there's no, there's no, there's no sympathy. I, I've made peace with the fact that I don't need that in my life. Mm -hmm. We've talked to people, you know, to help us through things. For me, it's, I'm at peace with not having you in my life. You're not sorry if it's continued on not only on top of all this, but like they're still together. But you're not sorry if you lie. Yeah, focus on our future, our future kids. Our future kids don't need to be involved in nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Um. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> do we still talk to any of our friends outside that don't do social media? And that's a yes, we do. Yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. I don't think you even had friends before that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really have like, I reunited with like a good few of like girls I was friends with in high school. I still got a lot of my boys I talk to. I'd be bringing them out here or i go Fuck with them whenever I'm I'm back in South Carolina. We also meet new people like as we go. We we have friends that don't do social media. Okay, y'all wanna know my next hair color. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I have one for it. I have one for that. I time. so many of you guys have been asking me. So many of you guys are like, are you keeping the red? I wanna see the black back. Like all this stuff. I I know what I'm doing next. I don't want to like say too much, but y'all have been making me miss my black hair, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I got a question asking uh, what was my favorite hair color on you? Yeah, so far, what's your favorite? Red was a standout because I have never seen you actually change your hair color other than brown and black. But when you went black, that shit hit yeah. different. That shit mm. hit different. The red was a nice, nice, so how do you like it Touch, now that it's been, I've had this hair since September. I know you had it for a while. September, October, November, I mean, December, January, five months already. Yeah, it's been crazy. Wow. I mean, I love, I like it. When you go black though, <laughs> girl, where would you want your next vacation to be? Okay, so there's two, there's two, and I think we're on the same page here. Yeah, I have two, but I don't, I wonder. Bali? Yes. And Dubai. <laughs> I want to go to Dubai. <laughs> And Bali, so freaking bad. Those are my top two. Oh my I knew goodness. Bali was yours. I didn't know about Dubai, but. I mean, obviously I want to go to Dubai. That's like for sure. Yeah. But mine was Italy. Oh, Bali. that's right. You be talking about Italy. That's right. I, oh my God. Something about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something about it. I, yeah. can, just, I can just picture it. I can like picture you. I need, I need to take you to Italy. Shit. What kind of is delaying, I feel like, our traveling plans. 
right now because we want to be traveling is Montana's health. I'm not to blame it on her. Somebody said, is the goal to get Montana pregnant before anything and then have a baby? So, yeah, so I'm kind of in the process of like, I just got blood work done. I'm about to have my, have my MRI and I'm about to have the appointment to see where Everything the size at. of the tumor is at compared to what it was a year ago, a little bit over a year ago. So I'm about to find out and basically from there, I already know I'm going to end up meeting with a neurosurgeon um, just because like that's what you do. Um, but then from there, we're going to see what the next steps are. You know, I'm having, I have honestly a lot of good faith going into all of this that no matter what this process looks like, I know that it's going to be the best and the healthiest route. Brian, I've had so many conversations about this, but we know that we're just in hands of God and he is literally guiding our whole life and we're just like wherever we go <laughs> like literally yeah. so that's we're definitely just... how we, we are living our life I would definitely say we're more leaning on like planned pregnancy than it just happening randomly which I never thought I would say honestly I always thought my family had kids at 16 years old mm -hmm. so it's like I really thought that I was gonna have a kid young but yeah. not not necessarily saying young because we're still young, but like I I feel like it's more planned. Like yeah, I, I think I could probably say that like I am ready for it. I want it. Yeah, I think we both are like really there, and it's like really in the forefront like of our mind and like what we want. But it's just about getting there. Yeah, because like I feel like definitely the process of not being able to not being able to get pregnant mm -hmm. is has made us lean more towards that because it's like it's like you want it but you can't have it so it makes you want it even more right so i feel like i don't know i that is the plan so i guess that's why i'm saying it's more of like a plan kind of yeah kind of thing <laughs> i can't we're, wait to do that i know I we're, can't wait to do that. we're so excited and it's like it's like not not there yet but it will be yeah, life's a journey man yeah I, if I could go back five years and, and say to myself, like, this all happened, <laughs> I don't know you, what I would You done. wouldn't even think that you could handle it. Yeah. 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 This is literally God's plan. These questions are just, as I screenshot them, leaning right into each other. Mm -hmm. With what you have with your tumor, it affects your hormones. It's affecting your sex drive. How many times a week is normal intimacy is it harder for us to have intimate time right now is it different after being married and just growing old is that cool thing getting getting dried up <laughs> stop i'm playing i'm playing i'll make it work. no <laughs> something that I can't help like my body is like literally a postmenopausal woman so with that comes like no sex drive um no period I'm like having a damn hot flash right now yeah so her body's not working like her ages yeah um, like how Ryan's ages so it's you know <laughs> it's like it's a, it, this honestly is our biggest I feel like it's like our biggest difficulty right now. I yeah, because like. I wouldn't say like we argue about it, but it's like something that weighs on me and then obviously like it weighs on him. And it's like it's but it's different, though, because like me, it's like I want my body to work normally because like I just want to be young, and you know, you know, every day, you know, yeah. that's what I wish. And obviously he wishes that. So <laughs> pretty much take like a young man, 24 years old in his prime. His body is the most healthy. <laughs> Great. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to say nothing. But I'm just trying to give them an example. Like, I'm. I'm at my all time high. I feel like with like testosterone and my hormones and, and then everything. I'm a granny. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all must start calling me my guilt. <laughs> But I don't think I've ever talked about this like really like in depth because it's really personal. <laughs> we are cracking jokes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. 
<laughs> don't think it's the heart. Come on. No, I know. It's not you. It's just something that weighs on me that no, like, I know, I've I never know. really talked about. I know. I know. I try to tame myself. I try to tame myself and all that. Stuff. No, it can be funny like between us. No, I try to tame my sex drive. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I know. And like, he's, yeah, he's really good like with it. Like, he understands. Usually, a good thing would be maybe twice a week. <laughs> I'm just being real. I feel like that's that's normal twice a week. We can cut it. <laughs> do you guys fight a lot? And then whenever you do fight, what's like the one thing that you fight about? I got that most? question too. On okay, I'm gonna be real. Okay, so we don't like fight, but it's more so of when life gets stressful, we're the we're with each other 24 seven. So it's like I'm aggravated not with him. But like with life, and then like I give attitude, and it's like why are you giving attitude? And then it's like, well, when you give me attitude, da, da, da. so it's yeah, more so like stuff like that where it's, it's like it turns into an argument. Yeah. We don't ever fight though. Like, yeah, not like fight. No, there's there's I will say there's no fights, and I can hundred put a, put it on everything. There's yeah. hundred ten percent. There's no fights. I don't understand or even see the reason of a fight when it's just like get to the what the purpose is, and then it's like accountability in yourself you know mm -hmm. if i said something wrong i have to own it mm -hmm. um and i have to be, hold myself accountable i got a lot of those questions too yeah wow give a boob update <laughs> boobie <laughs> you want to see i just think that wow. was crazy time period of life for you do y'all remember the boobs they were like ooh, yeah they were crazy they were beautiful but nah, like Okay. How are you feeling though being flat chested? Fine. I feel fine. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm like, you know, sometimes I, I look at my scars and I'm like, oh, what if I just like didn't do that? But would you say that you, you can see them? I don't ever see your scars. I don't Period. ever see them. I Thank you for making me feel better. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because I don't look for them, but I just don't see them. Honestly, having. Small boobs, like, I, I don't know, I like it. What was your first impression of each other's bodies? I was bragging. To, to, what? To who? My friends. <laughs> I was like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> Ew, so young. <laughs> I, to this day, with your body, mm -hmm. still get butterflies. To this day, when you're just like standing there, sitting there, and I just see you, I just like, I literally have a the goddesses that you see on statues, just right Stop. here in my hands. I'm like butterflies. I'm like, damn, I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> I'm so serious too. I ain't even trying to be cute. I'm so serious. That's that's been the impression and still is the impression. I feel like I've always been like in awe of like Ryan and like his body, what he can do with it, and then obviously the other side of it of like I don't really talk like this way, but like the intimate side of it obviously is like I'm really talking about that, but we're so different. Cause like I'll show her off. And that's what well, I'm about, I don't want to like not show you off. It's if just, I'll like, talk I about it, like, I'll show you off. Yeah, like, I, I feel like, like to talk me about personally, it. it's a part of life. And that's what I'm leading into now is, are you always proud you're showing off your wife's body a certain type of way? And I feel like a lot of people have asked me like, why you show her off? Um, or why you post your wife's body like, like that? Yeah. And it's like, I have always looked at the human body is art. I look at my own body as art. It's like a statue. I'm like a statue that I'm just carving away at it. I'm just chipping away at it. I'm confident. I know I look good in my body because I work hard for it. You work hard for your body. This is like for us, but like even though your body isn't, isn't what you want it to be like when you were, when we first met <laughs> seven years ago, I still look at it the same. Like I said, I still get butterflies, right? Yeah. Your skin, your, just everything about you is just sheer perfection. And that's how I look at it. God had extra hands framing you. 
I'm so serious. People will say, oh, well, what if other people are seeing her? And I'm confident. And we're like secure in our relationship. Confident and secure. You know what really we could be on though? <laughs> no! I could, I could start busting out the <laughs> magic See, I'm so like I I'm so like shy when it comes to like I could, I could start busting out magic Ryan again. <laughs> So a lot of people also ask about being successful. At the age that we're at, I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us from when we were living in a, outside pretty much. 18 years old, living in a sunroom. If you don't know what a sunroom is, there's no AC, it's just windows. So during the summertime, it was hot. During the wintertime, it was freezing. And we were there for like about, um, I think a year or eight months or something like that. Mm -hmm. Blessed to even have a roof though. We didn't complain about it. Either. Yeah, we didn't complain about it. We knew that we had to grind. That was when we had opened up our franchise Pelicans mm -hmm. um, in South Carolina. And we were working 60 hours a week. We were working insane hours. We had that drive and I'm proud of where we, what we have accomplished mm -hmm. in five years from doing that to, the, to what we're doing now. Yeah. And it's from hard work. Yeah. You want to be successful, you have to put in the work. You have to put in the work outside of what people can see. When we're running Pelicans, Montana started social media. We're doing social media, we're finding businesses, we're trying to own businesses, real estate, different investment properties. Not only that, but let's just use social media as an example. When we first started, consistency was key. You're not gonna grow if you're not consistent. And for us, it was posting every single, we were posting every single day. But not only that, is now you have YouTube, you got Instagram, you got TikTok, and now you have to post and be consistent and edit and, you know, there's a lot of work behind the scenes that goes on, but you have to be willing to put in the work to get to whatever it is that you want to do. If you want to be the best real estate agent, you got to take the classes, you got to do the internship, you got to meet the best of the best, you got to network, you got to, and that goes for anything. You want to be the best at anything, you have to set goals for yourself doing it and not just half-ass doing it you gotta like actually put your 110 percent self into it and be disciplined if that's really what you want you have to have the hard work passion for what you're doing and life in general and discipline manifest it because i'm telling you guys right now i'm telling you guys this right now i've never manifested anything in my life than what I do as a career right now. When I tell you guys, since I was 10 years old, I was telling myself and telling my parents, my friends, that I was gonna be a YouTuber. And I swear everybody around me like laughed at me and thought like, yeah, okay, like, huh, like you do that. I didn't apply to one college. So I didn't take one SAT test. I did not do anything in high school to set myself up for college because I knew that that is not what I wanted for myself. And I literally manifested it. Anything, any dream that you want, like you can do it. If you really put your mind to it and you don't even let yourself think that you're not gonna do it. Like it's just already like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna do it. And then you just work towards it. Like I believe in it 110%. And this right here and what we're doing is why I believe in like, manifestation and hard work because obviously you're not gonna just wake up and be like oh yeah yep i'm gonna do it and then not even try for it like that's not what i'm saying go off what? <laughs> what? damn girl what damn go off then what go off. Shit, you were going off <laughs> i wasn't talking too much no <laughs> am i the blabber <laughs> you're the yapper the yapper hey I that my soul <laughs> Oh, that shit. Well, we really love you guys so much. Thank you guys again for watching this long ass video. If you made it to the end, get down in the comments and say you made it to the end. Comment a, cause they got a secret emoji. Yeah. Do a tulip. That's my favorite flower. So do the pink tulip. Comment it down below. If you made it to the end of the video. Make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys leave a like. And we're growing this fam. Bring all of your family in this bitch. Right. Let's get to 2 million subscribers. Yeah, 2 million subscribers by the end of 2024. <laughs> that would be crazy. But we love you guys. See y'all next video. Mark out. Peace.